Hi student, today lecture 12. Today you study about very important part of hygiene, occupational hygiene. Today you study about what is subject contents arm and task of occupational hygiene, concept about occupational disease classification and their preventive measures. Occupational hygiene is a multidisciplinary subject concerned with the effect on work upon employer health, with investigation and prevention of accidents and work which may be caused by workplace. The object of the hygiene of labor, or the study or condition of labor in production and worker organism. The role of occupational doctor is a measuring, monitoring, and modifying the condition and the environment in the workplace. The main areas of activity of an occupational hygienist include the anticipation of health hazard in a new and proposed work situation, the recognition of health hazards in existing workplace, the assessment of health risk in the workplace, through qualitative assessment as well as qualitative exposure measurement surveys, the selection of appropriate control measures for health risk, which requires a full working knowledge of measures such as elimination, substational, local exhaust ventilation, the development of bespoke control solution for inequal work activity. Many workplaces require the modification and development of control measures since all the shelf measures will not work adequately. The investigation into the causes of work-related ill health. Assistant with occupational health related activities such as health surveillance biological monitoring training and education such as any forming workers or the hazards associated with their work and training when in the correct use of control measures research activity into improved method for recognition evolution and control of experience the occupational hygienist can regularly work closely with environmentalists, safety personnel, medical practitioners, project managers, engineers from all disciplines, food hygienists, local government office, and others. Professional pathology is a clinical discipline studying the etiology, clinical findings, matter of professional disease diagnosis, and preventive and prophylactic measures. Production activity is an integral part of adult employable person. At the same time, the production process and working environment factor have on the human body multilateral action. Scientific direction of preventive medicine in the field of hygienic aspect of labor. Labor activity of the person is engaged in occupational health or occupational medicine. This is an important branch of preventive medicine dealing by protection of industrial workers' health. Industrial worker is exposed to injurious industrial factor at least six, eight hours daily at his workplace, and this factor may cause a professional disease. At work, a person is exposed to the effect of physical, chemical, biological factor on working environment as well as physiological and psychological factor on the organization of a workplace and layout of the equipment at workplace. If the basic parameter of working environment do not correspond to the hygienic norm, they are considered as harmful can result in a temporary or permanent decrease of work capability. Occupational disease Increased incidence of somatic and infection disease may lead to health problem in the offspring and dangerous resulting in the outset of acute disease or progressive deterioration of the human health. In some causes, it may be even fatal. Any health specialist should be able to reveal the cause of the decrease and find out the relationship between the occupation of a person and his health problem, as well as to predict the effect of working environment on the cause of the disease, pregnancy, and postoperative period. 
a health specialist should be also able to apply this knowledge in performing primary and repeated medical examination, in providing professional consultation to teenagers and in organizing the work of health worker. Main goal of the hygiene of labor. Quantitative and qualitative estimation, the influence of the condition of labor on worker organism. Prevention of the injurious professional factor on worker organism. The development and introduction action directed on maximum provision of capacity of the labor. All round recovery, the condition of the labor. Reduction and liquidation of the professional main branch of the occupational hygiene general occupational hygiene and special general occupational hygiene study about physiology of the labor and psychology special occupational hygiene study of the condition of the labor in separate branch production and the influence on health of the method using in occupational hygiene divided to group First group include method for study of the workplace condition. This method, physical, chemical, biological, microbiological, experimental. Second group include method for study influence of the workplace condition of a worker organism. This method, physiological, clinical, biochemical, morphological, statistical, and other. The half of professional industrial factor. First, half of factor of first set of body position. Second, the type and technical character of production processes in the factory include physical, chemical, biological harmful professional factor. Physical, air temperature, air humidity, air velocity, Thermal radiation influence of worker organism, non ionizing electromagnetic fields and radiation, electric fields, constant magnetic fields, electromagnetic radiation of radio frequency range, electromagnetic radiation of the optical band, for example, including laser, UV radiation, industrial noise, ultrasound, infrasound, vibration long thing and others chemical harmful professional factor include some substance over biological natural for example antibiotic vitamins hormones protein preparation synthesis chemically and or for reverse control method of chemical analysis are used biological factor include pathogenic microorganism microorganism produced living cells and spores found in some preparation. Third group, factor of production process characterizing the extent of strain of fat, physical dynamic load, net mass or weight lifted and or moved, monotone work movements, static load, position at work, inclination of the common body, movements in space. Hygienic criteria, of evolution and classification of working condition. Hygienic criteria are in this sense which enable us to evaluate to the extent of a dividing parameter. It's related to the parameter of working environment and production process. Classification of working condition is performed according to the differentiation of the two mountainous dividing parameter. Working with causative again of infection disease as well as substance which should not be inhalated or found on the skin. Anti-tumor medicine, estrogenic hormones, enables us to assign some working condition to a certain class of occupational hazard. If the hygienic norm are neglected, it's necessary to use personal protective means and to, to reduce the duration of action of harmful, harmful production factor on a person. Working in dangerous working condition, class 4, is not allowed except in cause of eliminating the consequence of an accident or prevention of an accident. According to hygienic criteria, 
working conditions are divided into four types. Optimum, maximum, maximum permissible, harmful, and dangerous. Optimum working condition, type 1. A working condition in which the worker's health is protected and condition for maintenance of high work capability are created. The optimal working condition were defined for microclimatic parameter and production factor. As for other factors, conventionally optimal working factors are considered to be the factor in which harmful production factors are absent or they do not exceed the permissible level. Maximum permissible working condition, type 2, are the factors which do not exceed the permissible hygienic norm and any functional change occurring in the common body are restored at rest or by the beginning of the next work shift. This factor do not cause any health problem in the present generation or in the offspring. The first and second type are referred to a safe working condition. Harmful working condition type 3 are characterized by the presence of the harmful production factor which exceeds the permissible hygienic norm and may cause health problems in the worker and his offspring. According to the extent of exposure to harmful working conditions, four degrees of occupational hazard are singled out. First degree of type. Our working condition in which harmful production factor may result in functional change of the human body, which can be restored in a more prolonged period of time. Working in this condition can increase the risk of health problem. Second degree of time. Our working condition in which harmful production factor can cause persistent functional change in the human body. Working in this condition may lead to increased rate of occupational disease which are characterized by permanent loss of work capability or by involve of the most vulnerable organ and system, development of initial scenes or early stage of occupational disease caused by a prolonged exposure to harmful factor. This usually occurs in 50 years or more. Third degree of type, a working condition in which harmful production factor can result in the development of occupational disease at an early or advantage stage in the cause of work as well as increased number of chronic occupational disease and the increased incidence associated with a permanent loss of the capability. Third degree of type, a working condition which are characterized by an advantage stage of occupational disease associated with total loss of the capability as well as increased incidence of chronic disease associated with a permanent loss of work capability. Dangerous working condition, type 4, are characterized by production factor that effect on a person at the cause a threat to his life and increase the risk of development of acute occupational disease. A person usually works in certain working condition, which on the one hand should provide for work but on the other hand, may have a negative effect on the work capability of the person. We have already discussed this issue when we spoke about factor of working environment and the effect on the person's health. Besides working condition, there are some other factor of production. Production process, which also have an effect on the functional state and work capability of people. This factor include factor Characterized the extent of strain of work, physical dynamic, load, net mass or weight lifted and or moved, total amount of stereotype work movement, static load, and factor characterized the extent of intensity of work, intellectual, sensory, emotional, monotony of load, work regime. If work condition do not correspond to the hygienic norm, forced position at work, emotional stress, excessive duration and intensity of work, the person may develop over-excretion of a number of function and system of the body as well as rapid fatigability and some occupational disease. 
knowledge of this issue will enable the doctor to reveal the relationship between the cause of the disease and the patient's work as well as to optimize working condition in therapeutic established. Types of labor, physical and intellectual or mental. In modern form of work, only physical labor does not play a significant role. How way is generally accepted is a physiological classification of work in accordance with a different form of labor regarding considerable muscles activity, mechanized form of labor, form of labor associated with the production of semi-automatic and automatic, group form of labor associated with the remote control, form of intellectual labor, form of labor that require large muscles activity. Now, the start of work operation takes place in the absence of mechanized equipment for the work. This works are characterized firstly, increased energy cost from 70 to 25 kilojoule per day in a book. Physical labor developing the muscular system has stimulated the metabolism while at the same time has a number of negative consequences. First, it's a social inefficiency of manual labor associated with the low capacity, tension of physical forces and the need for long term. Physical types of labor. Group conveyor is required on synchronic work. Mechanical is required on portal work and rapid muscles movement. Automatic is required on monotonic work with high tempo. Group form of work conveyor. Future of this form of work are determined by the process of crushing operation. Given a rhythm, strict squares of operation, automatic feeding of parts to each workstation using a moving conveyor belt. Conveyor form of belt requires synchronizing the belt of its member in accordance with the specific tempo and rhythm. The lower the amount of time spent by working on the operation, the monotonous work can seem leaving its content. Monotone. One of the major negative future of the assembly line labor, leading to premature fatigue and rapid nervous exhaustion. At the basis of this particular phenomenon, in the prevalence of the breaking process in the cortical activity, developing under the influence of monotonous repetitive stimuli, this reduces the excitability of the analyzer, the attention is scattered, reduced reaction speed and fatigue comes quickly. Mechanized form of labor. At this form of energy expenditure of labor worker, our vision will 0.570 microjoules per day. The future of mechanized form of work by changing the character of muscular load and complexity of the program of action. Professions mechanized labor often require special knowledge and motor skills. In condition of mechanized production decreased at the amount of muscles activity involved in the work of the small muscles of the distal extremities, which should provide more speed and precision of movements required to control mechanism. The monotony of simple and mostly local action, uniformity and a small amount of perceived information in labor leads to monotony of work. Form of labor associated with partially automated production. At the same automatic production, man comes out of the process, the immediate processing of the object of labor, which performs the enter mechanism. This task is limited to the implementation of simple maintenance operation of the machine, provide material for processing, set in motion a mechanism to extract the treated detail. The characteristic future of this type of work Monotony, increase the tempo and rhythm of work, loss of creativity. Physiological future of a largely automated form of work is the readiness and employed to act and the associated speed of response to emerging issue. Such a functional state 
operational standing in different in the degree of tediousness depending on the work attitude, urgency, the necessary action, responsibility of the work. Next form, form of labor associated with the management of production process and mechanism. And this form of common labor is included in the control system as an essential operation element. The less automatic process control, the greater its involvement. From a physiological point of view, to distinguish two basic forms of process control. In some causes, the control requires a person of an active steps, while in other, rear. In the first cause, the continuous attention the employer receives is discharged in numerous speech motor movements or acts. In the second, the worker is mainly ready for action with reaction a visual. The factor affected on the health of the industrial worker, type and technical character of the industrial process, workday regime, sanitary hygiene condition in the workplace, type and character of personal protection equipment, emotional and physiological situation on the workplace. Second type of labor, form of intellectual, mental labor. This work is present as a profession related to the field of material production, engineer, technicians, managers, operation, and other, and outside, doctor, teacher, writers, artist, and others. Intellectual work is characterized by the necessity of processing a large amount of diverse information with the mobilization of memory, attention, the frequency of stressful situations. However, the muscular load, usually minor amount, to 4, 400,000 kilocalories per day. For this type of work characterized hypokinesia, a significant decrease in the motor activity of man, which leads to deterioration of reactivity and increased emotional stress. Hypokinesia is an unfavorable factor of production, one of the conditions of the formation of cardiovascular disease in people of mental labor. The form of intellectual labor are divided on the next group. Operative, administrative, creative work, the work of medical professional, labor education, pupils, and students. This type differ in terms of the labor organization of the labor process, the uniform of a large degree of emotional stress. Operation work. In today, Mechanized production are the main function of monitoring the performance of machines, widespread as queries operator activity. Jobs of operator differs a great responsibility and a high nervous and emotional stress. For example, work of telephone operators is characterized processing of large amounts of information in a short time and increased narrow emotional tension. Administrative work, the work of heads of agencies, enterprises characterized by excessive growth of information, increased lack of time for its processing, increased personal responsibility for decision, the periodic appearance of conflict. Creative work, writers, composers, artists, designers, the most complex form of work, that requires a significant amount of memory, attention, which increases the degree of narrow emotional stress. The work of teachers and health workers is different in constant contact with people, increased responsibility, often lack of time and information to make the right decision, resulting in a high degree of narrow emotional stress. The work of pupils and students is characterized stress of basic mental function such as memory, attention, perception, the presence of stress, for example, during exam. Primary functional change in the human body during mental work come primarily in the dynamic of the change in high nervous activity. Local activation processes are developing in many areas of the brain, capturing left and right hemisphere. The most important role in the implementation of mental function play the frontal parts 
of the brain. Physiological factors of the workplace. Both the environment and the nature of work have physiological effect. In favorable circumstances, the effect may be positive, increasing job satisfaction and motivation, but less favorable situation may induce physiological stress and disactivation. Experts in occupational health increasingly understand that physiological and psychological aspects of work may be more important determinants of health, motivation, and productivity at work than previously considered. The following physiological aspects of work and the work environment are discussed from the point of view of occupational health. Mental workload, monotony, time pressure, responsibility, disturbing physical factor, the treat of violence, lack of a clear role, and self-determination, unusual errors and solitary work, job satisfaction. Some 30-50% of employers in industrialist countries assessed their work as mentally heavy. Physiological overload may arise from several different types of factors and conditions at work. Overloading of a worker physiological, psychomotor or emotional capacity leads of difficulties in coping Monotones of work may imply a quantity physiological overload through continual repetition of movement or task, but the worker may be mentally underloaded as a result of physiological monotony. About 20-30% of workers see time pressure as an important physiological stress factor at work and is apparently a growing problem. Finnish data show that the implementation of both new types of information technology and management by result system have increased freedom of action in higher level of white collar employers and foremen, while physiological stress and time pressure have increased among family workers on the shop floor. Fatigue and over fatigue. The primary goal of occupational medication in the field or organization of the labor process is to prevent the development of fatigue and overfatigue. Fatigue, the physiological state, is accompanied by a sense of weariness, decreased performance caused by intense or prolonged activity expressed in deterioration of qualitative and quantitative performance indicators and stops after release. In contrast to the fatigue, overfatigue is a state border with pathology. Moreover, usually short rest does not restore the original level of efficiency, and the change of morphological, biochemical, and other indicators of the body has a pronounced and a long-term nature. Based on the nature of fatigue and taking into account the now mechanism that caused this condition, its prevention can be achieved through a wide range of socioeconomic, psychophysiological, technical, and other measures. The development of such measures intended to implement in the workplace, in addition to hygiene, physiology, and psychology of work involved in ergonomics, technical aesthetic, engineering, physiological, and scientific organization Ergonomic in JJPS and the decision the applied issue of physiological labor, the re-civilization of work process and jobs, and at the adaptation to human capabilities, taking into account its automatic physiological and psychological characteristics, which is essential importance of the preventive of fatigue and increase of working capacity. Technical aesthetic has two main types of application color design of production facilities and equipment, and industrial design of equipment, creating a beautiful equipment and rational form, providing easy operation. Technical or industrial aesthetic deals is with the selection and application of optimal color for industrial premises and equipment, create a color climate. Generally, a group of colors having a low saturation and a relatively Large reflection of engineering, psychological study, the structural controls communication, 
with the peculiarities of perception and information processing operation. The goal of engineering psychology is the design and construction of remote control based on the capacity analyzer human system, visual, auditory, and others, so that the flow of the incoming signal does not exceed the psychophysiological ability of the human. Communication operator, which the machine are performed by the perception of information, is transferred into the central nervous system, processing, decision-making, transfer of executive powers and perform. This last step is performed by acting on the control of the machine. Between the operator and the machine, there are other forms of cooperation that characterize the working cause of operator, the value of effort, speed, and trajectory of movement. The scientific organization of labor, at present on all major industrial enterprises of existing service of scientific organization of labor, is engaging in the development and implementation of measures on at optimizing the work process. This activity should be based on the achievement of science, including occupational health and physiology, as well as on the best particulars that will best organize equipment and personnel in a single manufacturing process, providing the most efficient use of material and labor resources, continuous improvement of the productivity of labor, the introduction of hygienic measures system improved working condition, preservation of health human. However, not only over fatigue characterizes the possibility of adverse effect on human body, labor activity of human take place in particular production environment, which is non compliance with hygiene requirements may have an adverse effect on the working ability and health of the person. The work environment as a part of the environment surrounding the person is composed of natural climatic factor and factor related to professional activity, which are now as harmful factor, the same factor can be dangerous. Causes and symptom fatigue. Fatigue may be result of one or more environmental causes, such as inadequate rest, improper diet, work and home stressors, or poor physical conditioning, or one symptom of a chronic medical condition or disease process in the body, heart disease, low blood pressure, diabetes, end stage renal disease, iron deficiency anemia, narcolepsy, and cancer can cause long term ongoing fatigue symptoms. Acute illness such as viral and bacterial infection can also trigger temporary fielding or excursion. In addition, mental disorders such as depression can also cause fatigue. Over fatigue promotes exacerbation or chronically process. Tiredness is often a result of monotonous work and bad labor organization. The over fatigue symptom, muscle pain, general weakness, no wish to do your work, often bad health condition, irritability, depression or apathy, fast fatigability, and unhealthy look, bad sleep, and others. Over fatigue appears just in cause of breaking the right rhythm of work and rest. Active rest increase an organism steadiness to tiredness. The best kind of sport, long walks in the faucet, being outside and tourism. Short breaks are very important during your working day. Change of activity promotes relaxation. After physical works, useful to read a little. Mental tenderness is easy to get rid of if you play tennis, for example. The most effective rest is complete physical and mental relaxation. Modern problem of occupational hygiene. In 1700, Bernardino Ramazzini, generally now as the father of occupational medicine, published a book 
summarizing all the existing knowledge about occupational disease. Ramazidi's book was an important landmark in medicine because for the first time it was recognized that the patient's occupational and social condition had to be now before diagnosis and treatment could be given. World Health Organization and International Labor Organization are two main bodies that are governing the occupational health and safety of the world. The following are some statistics revealed by World Health Organization and International Labor Organization. Annually, an estimated 160 million new causes of work-related disease occur worldwide, including respiratory and cardiovascular disease, cancer, hearing loss, musculoskeletal and reproductive disorders, mental and neurological illness. Each day, an average of 6,000 people die as a result of work-related disease or accidents totaling more than 2.2 million work-related deaths a year. All this about 1.7 million are from work-related disease and 350,000 deaths are from workplace accidents. Each year, workers suffer approximately 270 million occupational accidents that lead to absence from work for three days or more and poorly victim to some 130 million incidents of work-related disease. Between 50-70% of the workforce in developing country may be exposed to heavy physical work loss or economically poor working condition, which can lead to injuries and musculoskeletal disorders. The most affected include miners, farmers, lung figs, fishermen, constructive workers, warehouse workers, and healthcare personnel. The country or the euro use different concepts and definition of occupational disease, and this affects the assessment of morbidity date. The practice and criteria for diagnosis, notification, and registration of occupational disease also vary widely and corporal region wide. Date cannot be obtained. Even the reported incidence varies by one or two orders of magnitude, and the difference do not necessarily reflect the real variation in incidence of occupational disease in 11 countries of the World Health Organization in working condition. Official list of occupational disease also vary from a few disease categories up to 50 or 60. <laughs>
and the same time have the medical workers to use it as important instrument to improve the level of the medical service and to work out a special method to preserve and to improve the health of that group of population. At present time, the medical organization in different countries use this tense international disease classification, which was adopted by World Health Organization in 1989 and reconsidered every 10 years. The principle of the classification, first, etiological, as in one and 40 classes. Second, pathological, as in two and four classes. Localization, as in the most of these classes. Special condition, as in 15 and 16 classes. This is 10th International Disease Classification. Classification of the professional disease, clinical classification. All professional disease divided into group, acute and chronic. On etiology by researcher Izmirov, recommendation next classification of professional disease. First group include professional disease connected with incorrect body position. Second, professional disease connected with influence of physical factor or working organism, biological factor production, chemical factor, professional disease dust etiology, professional pathology connected with non-observance rules of the safety. This industrial trauma. Professional disease connected with incorrect body position. Long lasting standing position. Disease. Platypodia, hernia, varix. Connected with overstrained organ breathing. Emphysema of lung, glossitis. Professional disease connected with complex bicytic position. Hemorrhoid, scoliosis. Professional disease connected with overstrained finger hands. Hand arthrosis, coordination neurosis, professional disease connected with overstrain of the visual analyzer, myopia, diplopia, deterioration in visual acuity. For example, standing worker for the machine, molders in founders, agricultural worker, builders, landers, sitting, tailors. Schumacher's, position associated with the long walking, spinners, waiters, policemen, with lifting and carrying heavy loads, porters, letter carrier, and others. As a result of prolonged forced position, especially when combined with the muscles load, may be foot deformity, flat foot, as a result of overstrain of muscles, ligamations, apparatus, is reduced or disparates edge of the foot. In pronounced causes, flat foot cause fatigue, pain in the foot, leg cramps, changing of posture, most often in manifest itself in the form of kyphosis or scoliosis. Curvature of the spleen more possible than at a younger age, the necessity of force for the position. Contributing factor are rickets and general muscular weakness. Of great importance in occupational disease in person of standing profession has a very coarse expansion of veins in the legs that occur due to insufficient outflow of blood from the venous network or the lower limbs, venous insufficient of the valves, eating disorders or vessels walls. Therefore, examination of famous conductive Kiev Institute of Occupational Health found but of varicose expansion of the lower extremities served in 7.1% of causes the cause is to limit working ability or disability. Tension of different organ and system. For example, inflammation of the tendon sheets with the accumulation of inflammatory fluid and fibrin deposition along the tendon, tendovaginit, which occurs in a number of professions Associated with the significant tonic stress, the foreign muscles and 
repetitive movement of the finger and hands. The main symptom of pain crush in the movement, swelling along the affected tendon. Coordinator neurosis, of which the most common is a neurosis in writing or chiropsasm, a cons, flex, stenography, a chest complaint, bronchitibio, and clumsiness of hands when writing. In the future, there is muscle tension, tremors, and sometimes pain, involuntary flexion, and extension of the finger when writing. Lumbaga. Pain in the lumbar and lumbar sacral region found in professions of this work is characterized by strong physical excretion, especially during prolonged forced position of the body, most often with a slope forward. This disease occurs in blacksmiths, porters, carpenters, miners. Occurrence of the disease besides physical strain contribute to unfavorable micro microclimate factor, low temperature, its sharp swing, high humidity, continuous operation with tension of accommodation, and tension conversion can contribute to the development of myopia among workers. Last seen in collector of small details, watch mothers, jewelers, and others. Practic representative of the same professional myopia is higher, the more difficult to view the working condition. Professional disease intoxication caused by influence of working organism, chemical, industrial hazardous. Toxic inhalation is a general term for a serious pulmonary toxicity of a variety of gases present in senior clinical patients, including ozone, phosphogen, chlorine, nitrogen dioxide, hydrogen fluoride, and many others. Exposure to these gases at the levels required to produce this condition is usually the result of accidental release, uncontrolled chemical reaction, or fire. Certain of these gases, particularly phosgen, chlorine, and nitrogen dioxide, are generated than plastic furnishing and interior design fixtures burn, as in a hotel fuel. In such combustion situation, cyanide and carbon monoxide are also released and contribute to toxicity. Occupational asthma. Asthma is a complex of symptoms are and things resulting from revisible obstruction of airflow. Usually asthma presents as rising and shortness of breath occurring repeatedly in isolated episodes, often immediately following exposure to a recognizable allergen. And if due causes of asthma, cough may be the major symptom. In occupational asthma, the again may be difficult to identify and the pattern of airways obstruction may be unusual or delayed. The is against to identify others that a high sensitizing and that trigger the familial immediate hypersensitivity reaction. Such conventional allergic synthesis include animal secretion, ethylene diamond, grain dust, the brain enzyme, epoxy resin, carrying against and virtually anorganic or small molecular weight compounds included metals such as platinum cells. If you produce reaction by mechanism that are not typical of the common immediate hypersensitivity reaction, such as grain dust, wood dust, and others. Industrial bronchite. Worker industry occupation, particularly steel workers and grain handling, may develop a non specific chronic bronchitis. Cigarette smoking may aggravate the bronchite. Vjung liver. There are two common types of Vjung liver both involving mixed pulmonary and systematic reaction to inhalate toxic agents. Metal jump fever results from exposure to hot metal jumps, particularly zinc, cadmium, and copper. The ions itself are limited by highly unpleasant reaction, similar to influenza, developing an 
other also after exposure and consisting of nausea, fever and chills, malis, myalgia and leukocytosis. Italian fever lasts only one or two days and should not be confused with toxic inhalation which may result from exposure to high concentration of cadmium or nickel germs or from high concentration of relatively mercurial or which acute lead person. Italian waiver is most often seen when inexperienced welders try to weld or cut metal that is galvanized or of mixed composition. Buzenosis, brown lung disease, a chronic condition involving obstruction of the small airways, severely impairing lung function, is caused by dust from hemp, flax, and cotton processing. Microclimate at the workplace. At the workplace, only weaker organism will influence thermal condition, increase and decrease temperature of air and shielding, increase or decrease humidity, air pressure, and other parameters. Thermal condition. Thermal condition and microclimate in different occupations may vary widely, ranging from extreme cold to extreme heat. In addition to extremes of outdoor climate, temperature problem may occur with indoor work. For example, is refrigerated rooms in the food industry or in fully ventilated space and extreme heat in metallurgy. About 4-5% of the workforce may work in such condition. Indoor environment problem are associated with very low levels of exposure to multiple chemical, physical, and microbiological factors. A relatively new problem of modern working life, particularly in large new office buildings, is the sick building syndrome, although its existence is still debated. Causal relationship between factor in the indoor environment and the occurrence of somatic or psychological symptoms among employers need further investigation. Increase and decrease temperature of air and shielding at the workplace. Industrial premises are divided into crude with normal temperature and hot workshop. For shops with a little heat dissipation, include those in which heat from the equipment, material, and people do not exceed 20 inhalations kilocalorie per one quadrat meter premises per hour. If the heat exceeds the specific value, the workshop are hot, particularly large heat found in metallurgy, blast furnace, open hairs and rolling mills, machine building, foundry, forging, thermal workshop, textile industry, the garment industry, and others. For the hot workshop of particular importance is the return of heat by radiation. The temperature overheated, melted, and hot body, which have to meet in the hot shop, reach hundreds or even thousands of degrees. The heat obtained from this source by infrared reaction may be so significant that the workers of indoor air temperature can reach 30, 40 degrees and even more. In many industries, the work is performed at low temperature of air. In browsers, in basement office at 4, 7 degree, in the refrigerator from 0 to minus 20 degree. Many of the works are carried out in, in unheated premises, elevators, for example, or outdoor, for example, timer float of timber, open coal mining, and others increasing or decreasing humidity at the workplace occurs in laundries, dyeing workshop, textile mills, chemical plants, especially unfavorable condition created if volatile liquid heat and boil. In this causes, the absolute humidity of the room air humidity can reach a maximum temperature at the skin surface. Psychological saturation deficit will be zero and the evaporation of sweat becomes impossible. 
However, this does not delay the selection process of sweet, not effective, and it causes dehydration. Mechanical hazard are this caused by the transfer of mechanical or kinetic energy, the energy of motion. The transfer of mechanical energy can result in immediate or gradually escalated injury in exposed individuals. The term injury and trauma are often used interchangeable to refer to the harm that may result from mechanical hazard. The events and circumstances that result in injury have commonly been referred to as accidents, industrial trauma, and damage or injury which may cause anatomic disturbance of the tissue, dysfunction of the organ or the body because of the influence of different external factors in the factories or any trauma before or after the time. This term is no longer used by those working in injury control. Acute trauma at work remains a leading cause of this and disability among workers. Trauma is defined as an injury or found to a living body caused by the application of external force or violence. Acute trauma can occur with a sudden one-time application of force or violence that cause immediate damage to a living body. Hazards in the industrial or agricultural setting can range from dirt or metal particles to corrosive chemicals, wedding life and falling, or exploding debris. Following are some situations for which treatment is most urgent. Classification of industrial injuries. Mechanical, physical, chemical. Me mechanical, in violation of integrity skin integument. Do not break integrity skin. Tremors. Physical, thermal burns, irradiation, electrophthalmia photophthalmia, chemical, burns, acids, alkalis, and other. The main causes, technical, the instrument, and the protective means in bad condition. Against it, technical or industrial equipment, organization, bad condition of the building and the workshop, social, transgenerous, violate, or the sanitary and hygienic recommendation. Psychological, technical, mistake because of exhausting. Environmental health specialists believe that most injuries are predictable and preventable and can be started using epidemiological method, just like an illness or health effect. Cultural attitudes toward injury are important, where injury these are culturally viewed as determined by fate there will not be a receptive response to an injury control initiative. Many cultures gravely risk talking behavior involving dangerous act of physical ability. Risky behavior is often considered brave or adventuresome in contrast to conscious behavior which may be seen as cowardly or dumb. This has positive and negative connotation. Children raised with access to television are exposed to this cultural value from a very young age by harassers who engage in exiting, restocking behavior without any connection to real consequence. The pervasive use of pesticides and herbicides in forming can expose the workers as through nebulization in the air or rubbing with contaminated fingers. Some of the worst injuries are chemical burns from alkyls, which are heavily used in fertility, in cleaning against and adjusting pH in canic operation. With their high pH, alkalis can burn to the surface of the cornea. First response to alkali injury includes flashing the eye with at least a liter of fluid, testing the pH of the eyes and continuing flashing until pH returns to normal. Topical 
anesthetic can ease pain. For mineral burns, antibiotic eye drops and oral pain medication may be all events needed initially. Other mediation may include topical steroids, glaucoma meditation, and meditation to support cornea repair. More serious chemical burns may require a frequent outpatient visits or even hospital admission. Chemical injury requires agent evolution by an ophthalmologist to assess the initial degree of conjunctiva and cornea damage. If damage is severe, a cornea transplanter or surgical reconstruction may later be required. Flash burns, also now as ultraviolet keratitis, flash burns are most often caused by starting at a welding, are without a properly tinted protective lens. The ultraviolet rays lead to a radiation burn on the surface of the cornea, which causes cells to slough off, leaving by nerve aging rather tremendously sensitive. Penetrating trauma. Corning metal on metal is the most common scenario leading to this type of work-related injury. A piece of fractured metal can fly at high velocity, sometimes penetrating the eye without significant physical findings. Prevention of injuries and disease from occupational health hazards is based on two basic concepts. First, the work environment and the production technology itself should be designed so that health risks are reduced to a minimum. Second, the worker should be educated and encouraged to behave safely and use protective equipment. Measures for prevention of occupational disease are adequate in respect of each individual and each hazard manufacturing process. Common are just some of the key principles on which to best preventive measures is respect of certain hazard and individual production. Common principles of prevention include Hygienic regulation of occupational hazard. For example, the establishment of maximum permissible concentration of toxic and non-toxic substances in the air or work premises, acceptable level of ionizing radiation, noise, and vibration. These indicators are the basis of regulating the prevention and assessment of the effectiveness of health intervention. Systematic monitoring of the state of the production environment of the laboratory of hygiene and epidemiological center, factory laboratory. Second, changing production technology. Instead of the use of liquids, powdery products, granules, pastas, a change dry wet process, pneumatic revitting, hammers, spot welding. The third, mechanization and optimization of manufacturing process. Four, hermetic sealing of apparatus in which the process of toxic or dusty material. Five, an effective local and general exchange ventilation. Six, use of personal protective equipment. Biological method of prevention. General and species wellness. The first group include the rational organization of work and rest, mass sport and physical activity, good nutrition and other. The second or special wellness from etiological and pathogenic principles influence on no favorable action of the worker organism, different industrial factor, dust, chemical and physical. For example, the now positive breathing exercise, inhalation of aerosols, as well as a balanced diet with the inclusion of appropriate vitamin in the prevention of pulmonary fibrosis, bronchite dust and toxic chemical etiology, importance of massage, chamber bath and gymnastic exercise toilet for prevention of vibration disease. Next, preventive measures. The preliminary and periodic medical examination of person working 
in condition of occupational hazard that may cause occupational disease. Sanitary educational work. This direction of preventive work carried out by various ideas of industrial enterprise include medical service and control by the higher organization, the sanitary epidemiological service, trade union border, the relevant communities of local authorities and the federal level, and others. The main task of a doctor worker in the production, precipitation and activities um, at improving the labor of worker and employers, the prevention and reduction of general and occupational disease, the work of health units or clinics built by a shop principle. This means that each shop attached therapist, workshop doctor, responsible for treatment and preventive work assigned to it by the shop. The preventive work of a green doctor is very important health education. It necessarily involves all the doctor and nurses. The content of health education in the enterprises are promotion of medical knowledge on issue especially those diseases that are prevalent in the enterprises, promotion of knowledge in the fight against occupational disease, promotion of knowledge in the field of personal and public hygiene. Main function of the doctor and the medical personnel at the factory include to find out the main causes of professional disease in that area, provide preliminary medical examination for those who want to work in the factory, to ensure that the person's job fit in terms of physical ability and prophylactic periodical medical examination for workers to check their health and to find primary symptom of professional disease. Provide a qualification medical care and prophylactic measures to decrease the percentage of the trauma and professional health complication. Health education. Control the sanitary and hygienic condition in the workshop. Estimate the level of disability. For living or high variable working condition, and decline of mobility among workers of industry and agriculture are one of the most important tasks of a public health system. The special medical institutes of ambulatory polyclinic type, such as clinics, health protection posts, are created on enterprises for providing of a wearable working condition. The work in these institutes is based on the shop floor area principle which provides the everyday medical observing for all hands in concrete condition of working environment. The shop floor doctor therapist has the work on shop floor area. The duties of shop floor therapists include the skilled medical relief action for work people, precipitation in measures on my kind healthy or working condition, prevention and decline of general and professional mobility, productive traumatism, disability on a production, in particular precipitation in the study of working condition and development of corresponding health measures, organization and realization of previous and periodic medical inspection, investigation of causes of professional disease and prozo, we work in medical committees of a selection of person who require a signal of dietary or medical and preventive feed, sanatorium resort treatment, transfer to another job with the facilitated condition, realization of sanitary educational work among workers, informing of sanitation and epidemiological service about all causes of resort of suffering from industrial accidents, analysis of efficiency of medical and health promotion program. Medical examination of industrial workers are divided into preliminary and periodic. Preliminary medical examination are carried out when acting for a job, where allow you to identify the people who for health reason cannot be allowed to work in the condition of production. 
The preliminary medical examination involves all medical specialists, therapist, neurologic, ophthalmologic, dermatologic, otolaryngologic, and surgical. Periodic medical examination allow identifying the early stage of an occupational disease or deviation in health, increasing the risk of exposure to occupational hazard. The main person conducting periodic medical examination a physician. Physician determines the precipitation of the medical specialist. During the preliminary and periodic medical examination of all women are necessarily surveyed of cestrian gynecologic with conducted cytology and microscopy study. Person exposed to a substance wet at allergens compulsorily exam therapist, otolaryngologist and dermatologist which carrying out clinical blood analysis. All date of medical examination entered into outpatient card. In the course of establishment, the conducted medical examination of workers since of occupational disease are sent to the center of occupational disease for a special survey to confirm the diagnosis and establish the connection with occupational disease. One of them documents or the basis of which addressed the issue of disease due to the professional work in sanitary and hygienic characteristic of working condition. Sanitary hygienic characteristics drawn up and is issued in the center of hygiene and epidemiology. The right to request sanitary characteristics is the head physician of the health of the enterprises that is running the sick. All persons with identified occupational disease should be under medical supervision during the entire life of a relevant specialist depending on the set of the pathological process. Hygiene characteristic of occupational hazard for different medical personnel. The occupational exercise load and hazard of a surgical specialist doctor. The number of surgical intervention up to 150 per year in general surgery, 170 in otolaryngology, 370 in obstetrics and gynecology. The number and complexity of the operation increase with the raising the level of the surgeon's skill. The forced body position with the trunk frontal bending and the prolonged static tension of muscles of the shoulder, middle, back and stretched forward arms. The hot microclimate of the operative room with high streams of the radioactive heat from the artificial lighting source. The ionizing radiation during the X-ray examination, especially in traumatology, vascular surgery, neural surgery. The toxic effect of the narcosis agent and anesthetic. High mental and nervous emotional extraction connected with the complexity and duration of a surgical intervention, possible post-operative complication and responsibility for patient's life. Among the disease affecting the surgeon specialist doctor with temporary disability, the most widespread are the disease of nervous system, cardiovascular system, digestive system, and the acute respiratory disease. Among chronic disease of the specialist, such as disease as the disease of cardiovascular system, neurot, Trastenia connected with higher psycho emotional and physical load should be maintained. There, angina, pectoris, hypertension, bicator vascular dystonia, and neurasthenia. There are frequent disease due to the prolonged standing at the surgical table, radiculites, osteochondrosis, dyskinesia, dilation of the lower extremities. Surgery's disability or necessity to change their occupation in 60, 80th 
present causes can be explained by chronic intoxication with narcotic agents and anesthetic. In 1120, present causes by the infection disease. 9, 10 present causes by physical and nervous over secretion. Hygienic peculiarities of labor condition and health status of a therapeutic doctor depend on a patient service home. In cause of polyclinic, district service, the leading role belongs to the excess physical load, which depends on the year season. The specialist may also suffer from psycho-emotional exhalation and uh, diff different physical factors, unfavorable effect X-ray, ultrasound and laser and other diagnostic and psychotherapeutic measures, chemical harmful substance, the pharmacological preparation from which nurses suffer more frequently. Occupational disease of therapeutic doctor has a role over psychiatry. Infection, specialist in skin and mineral disease, hematologist, the laboratory assistant at the bacteriological, virological, hematological laboratories include the corresponding infection. X ray doctor, radiologist suffer from dermatitis, eczemas. Toxicodermia, melanomas, leg causes, skin cancer, radiation sickness, psychiatrists, psychoneurosis, and others. One of the main occupational hazards for dental doctor is their forced standing with his bending and turning trunk position, which leads to the prolonged static tension of the corresponding muscle group. Noise and vibration died in ringing machine, sick expression, blending effect of the photopolymer lamp, penetration of mercurial films from the mercury amalgam into the respiratory organ, germs of the polymer material solvents, danger of the infection from the patient with the upper respiratory tract disease during the incubation or convalescence stage. While performing the manipulators connected with the patient's mucosal membrane or blood contact. Our mental hazard can result in breathing disorders. 34, 45%. Various deletion of the lower extremities. 19, 49%. Things of a vibration disease, paresthesia, loss of hands, temperature sensibility, and perceptivity. Diphtherins contracted. The visual analysis excretion can lead to the accommodation spasm, so called false myopia, and so eyes. The own disease, hepatitis B and C, can be transmitted through saliva, gum tissue, and open wound. Thank for attention.